Wagab. In this video, I'm going to show you guys how to remove the side mirror assembly completely. Not how to remove the side cover or that stuff, but how to remove the entire side mirror so that you can either replace it or for the older models 07, 08 and maybe even 09, how to update the side mirror cover so that you're able to get rid of the bigger style indicator which is this one right here and you can update it to something like this however I just wanted to point out that when it comes to updating the older style side mirrors to the newer style side mirrors like this to be aware that it may involve activating them or if I was to guess I would say that they're probably plug and play but I just wanted you to be aware that you may have to do that um, I know that sometimes for things like headlights when you update them you need to activate the headlight so that it is able to be synced to your car doing this update may require activation but um, if it doesn't and it's plug and play even better I'm not exactly sure because I've never had to do it but I wanted to show you guys that doing this update is possible when you remove your side mirrors so if you are one of those people who would like to update your side mirrors to the newer style side mirror then this video is going to show you exactly how to do that Just to briefly explain what we need to do pry off the speaker cover the tweeter cover and then remove the foam piece and underneath you're going to find three screws i believe they are p25 and once you remove those three screws this entire side mirror is going to be loose and you can pretty much just wiggle it out however there is a certain way to remove it so i'm going to show you exactly how to do that and once you remove this side mirror there's just two plugs that you have to unplug from the door module and you basically just have to route the cables out and this whole entire side mirror will come out here is your tweeter so in order to remove this we just need a trim removal tool we pry the top here pry this out once we have this out we push forward and this tweeter cover comes off we then just disconnect our tweeter or we can just leave it dangling like so take out this foam piece and as you see behind here we have one two three torque screws and we need to remove these three so that we can remove the side mirror assembly and then also inside here once you remove those there are two plugs here that you have to remove because this wire is what runs to your side mirror they plug into your door module and that is what controls everything this module here controls everything relating to that side mirror from the heating function the power mirrors um, the indicators all that stuff what we're going to do take out these three torque screws and then we'll unplug it and then we can remove the entire side mirror so let's just remove these three one two and three with all three screws removed as you can see now I'm able to remove the side mirror okay now when you go to remove your side mirror what you need to do is pull it up first and then pull down pull the bottom up and then pull down it's because you have a lip here that's why you need to do that so remember you need to pull it up and then push down and then after that it's just a matter of coming on this side and routing your cables out and that's really all there is to it unplug these two plugs here okay so we'll pull, push on the tab pull it out push on the tab pull it out there we go okay so these were the two plugs as you can see there's just a tab and a tab you press on the tab and you pull out the plug for both of them and that's it there is a clip here that houses the uh, wire push it down and then pull it out and that will undo the clip so this is the clip that you remove here I'll remove this clip completely so I can show you how it works all right so that's the clip that was in the door like so all you have to do is push on it and then pull it out and this clip will come out the wires will be held inside this clip you undo the clip and then the wires will come straight out of it now it's just a matter of routing this cable all the way out and that's it that's how you remove your side mirror as you can see right here the side mirror is now removed it's just a matter of guiding your cables all the way out and that's it you are done okay so we just pull the cables out 
and then we just guide them out like so as you can see here there is a hole here for you to guide your cables all the way out push your plugs out I'm able to push the wire the cable all the way out and then feed the plugs all the way out like so and that's it there you go guys now at the moment I have my retrofit puddle light wire here so I'm not going to remove it completely uh, I just want to show you guys that that's pretty much it if I did not have my puddle wire here this mirror would come off completely we're going to reinstall it so if you have your new um, style mirror this is how you would put it all back together grab your cables you run it through this hole again both plugs okay you run it through like so and then you guide it on in and once you get it through here you push it all the way in and then you slide in the top slot first like so because of your lip here you need to push this lip in first make sure it lines up okay get it all the way in like so and then push it down and then it will sit in flush then you can come on this side and check and once you get that in you need to check on this side to make sure that you've got it all the way in so I'm going to show you what you need to look for okay so you see this little notch here once you have the side mirror back in this is what you need to check for this little notch right there okay that has to come through and then all your screw holes need to line up with your plugs you need to run them down but remember at the same time you also need to get back your your cable clip okay so it comes down you feed it through the bottom here like so all right and then you grab your cable clip which is this thing right here okay you grab your cable clip and you clip back these two wires as they were clipped originally and you see the little hole there there's a tiny little hole right here you'll see it it's just there that's where this clip goes back in so now that we've run our cables back in we need to plug them back in we have white to white black to black follow the color codes and you cannot go wrong they only plug in one way and that's it we get our cable clip we clip back on the two cables that were clipped on it originally we simply put it around one and then put it around the other just like this see put the cable in and now we can push it back into the hole that clipped it in cable clipped back in grab our three screws and screw it back in and we are pretty much done t25 holes are lined up screw it back in beautiful one in the corner here perfect we'll tuck in our tweeter cable now don't mind this i've already updated my tweeters to a different to a newer tweeter now in order to do it all i did was i cut the cables here and then just simply hardwired my newer tweeters to the factory tweeters they give off a better treble sound because it wasn't a perfect fit i used some hot glue in just one little area and i positioned it the exact same way the factory tweeters were fitted these are just jbl gto's uh, they're pretty good uh, very cheap and uh, yeah they worked wonders for me and it sounds really nice now i simply just sold it on my own connectors like you can see here now i just have these tweeters instead of the factory tweeters you put your phone back in you put your tweeter back on you line up this side first make sure you line it up properly and then once you get that side in you just clip that side down and voila there you go grab your case put in this side first like so and then let it clip in and that's it guys there you go well, there you have it guys how to remove your side mirrors on your w204 whether it be the older style mirror or the newer style mirror like this the way to remove it is basically exactly the same so if you want to upgrade your lights to the newer style ones like this or if you need to replace them for any reason i hope you found this video helpful and if you did hit that like button and as always don't forget to like share comment subscribe ring that notification bell in order to keep up with the uploads until next time this is mike with mikey's vlogs signing off see you in the next one